detective, I'm detective. You wanted to talk to me. Here again. My husband has just died. How do you think I feel? I apologize. I didn't mean to disrespect you. I'm not used to showing my emotion. I have to defend myself from people. Especially my husband family. I bet they are the reason why I'm here. They told you to investigate further on me. Very good. Oh no. They have nothing to do with my presence here in the police station. It's hard for me to believe that. I know they hate me. They didn't even come to my wedding. They broke John's heart. He's such a kind man. Well, he was. No, thank you. I do not smoke. Not anymore. So, what do you want me to say? I can tell you once again what happened that night when I came back home and I found my husband on the floor without life. It was six o'clock in the afternoon. I had just came back from the stores. I had to buy some things for dinner. Yes, I went by myself. I could have sent the butler, one of the maid, even the gardener. I have many people working for me as the lady of the house. But you know, I can drive, I can walk, it's no problem for me to get what I need by myself. Of course, it must be difficult to you to understand this. Here are you, the people who do not make a step without someone polishing their patent leather shoes. But me, of course you know I do not come from the upper class. I was raped by my mother alone and she worked for these kind of people. They treated her like a slave. I know what it means, working hard to her respect. But for certain people, it doesn't matter how hard you work. I have grown with the disdainful eyes on me. And then, when John married me, me, a simple vaudeville actress, Oh, they were so jealous, like snakes. Just because I won John's second wife, I'm much younger than him. You can imagine how they called me at my back. 
I will not repeat it because I don't want to lower myself at the same level. I love it, John. I love it so much. <laughs> yes, he was 30 years older than me, but it doesn't matter. I'm not ashamed of it. He was kind, generous, loyal. He treated me like a princess. Like a lady, a queen. No one has ever showed me so much respect in my own life. I thought he just wanted to have fun with me, an actress. But when he proposed me, at first I thought he wanted to play with my heart. But he was honest and I couldn't believe there was no way such a handsome, kind, gentle man, the owner of the biggest company of the city, could want a girl like me. But he did. I would have never imagined that he loved me back so sincerely as I loved him. Have you ever loved someone, detective? A friend? A child? A woman? Of course, you will never tell me. You sit there, behind that desk. You listen to me, and you judge me. You don't judge me. You see a woman like me, married to a man who is much older. And you do not believe, even for a second, that I married him, only because he was rich. Our wedding day it was the most beautiful day of my life. Thank you. I was happy his family wasn't there. I know they hate me, especially his son, Eugene. <laughs> the little spoiled brat. He has no backbone. He would pay all his money to see me rot behind the bar of a prison. <laughs> All these years, he's just waited for poor John to die so he could have his part of the company. And his sister and her husband are not better than him. They're like snakes, vultures. John could trust only me. And I could trust only him. We only had each other. Believe me, detective, if you had seen the life we had, you would understand the money did not make you happy. My poor John, he always told me that his children despised him for what he had done. They disrespected him even before we met. How could someone be so cruel with such a good man, a good father? Oh, I would have loved to have a child for him. <laughs> the 
So, he want me to tell you again what happened that day. Very good. I had spent all the morning and part of the afternoon in the city to run some errands. I had to go to the tailor for my new dress. I can give you their address and ask them if you want. When I came back home, John was there and I didn't expect him to arrive so early. He was so upset. He told me that he had gone to the bank and he had met Eugene. And they had a horrible fight. Eugene wanted John to divorce me. He threatened his own father. And in that moment, I, I did not think of myself. I think only of him because a poor man so lonely against his own family. So he came back home to me and he was so upset, so exhausted. I tried to comfort him, but you know how you men are sometimes. He didn't want me to see him like that. So I sent the butler and all the maids away for the day so that John could be alone and have a drink and try to relax. And I decided to do what a good wife should do. Prepare something special for dinner. So I... I took the key of the car and I went to the grocery store. And when I came back, he was on the ground next to the liquor cupboard. I tried to help me, but you. I thought it was better to call the police than an ambulance. My heart has been broken many ways. And many times in my life. But all it's nothing compared to the pain I felt that day. Do not think it's weird that Eugene wanted his father to divorce from me. And that when John, my John, refused to surrender to his son threat, he was found dead in his own house a few hours later. I wish it was me. I wish I was the one who was murdered. John would be still alive and his children wouldn't be so hopeful with him. I loved him, but I caused him holy pain. I would give up to 
all the money of the company to have him back just for one day. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. His son treated John like he was some old man who had lost his mind. Everybody knew he didn't love his father. And now he dare to raise suspicion about me. Me. Who was the only one who loved him. Can I call now, detective? I need to go home and try to calm down. It's always difficult to talk about this. I feel you understand me. You are not like the others I talk to. Please, if there is any way I can help your job, don't hesitate to come to me.